Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is September 30th, 2021, and Bitcoin is looking great. It's looking great. Yesterday, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that I pointed out a plethora of Wyckoff accumulation ranges, okay? This has been a huge bull bear trap. It's been a huge bear trap, right? And right now we're looking at the latest Wyckoff accumulation that Bitcoin's in. We're on a small time frame. We're on the 15 minute time frame, just so we can see some detail. And I've uh, I've drawn out or I, I've marked up this range in the style of Wyckoff's accumulation schematic. Okay, you hear, you see your primary supply, your automatic rally, your secondary climax, uh, multiple secondary tests, right? These are the places where the composite man, if you're not if you're not sure what that means, please just look it up. It'll take you two seconds. Google composite man, Wyckoff. Um, but essentially, you're testing the bottom limits of these this range, seeing how low can it go and. Uh, one major uh, aspect of the Wyckoff theory is volume, okay? So I'm going to enlarge our volume bars so we can see. Let me see if I can enlarge this. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just take off our other uh, indicator for a second so we can see. And the volume is important. Why? Because... Essentially, the idea is they're trying to exhaust the selling pressure. They're trying to exhaust supply. So um, a, a successful Wyckoff accumulation, you'll see decreasing volume, as you see here. Let's get our arrow out. Mm, it's in here, I think. Yeah. So you should see decreasing volume, which we do. And that volume should be selling volume, okay? And some people think erroneously that, oh, we want high volume all the time. That's wrong. Because if we're in a downtrend, which we're in, right, uh, you want it. And if you want the price to go up, you want volume to decrease. That means the selling pressure is decreasing, getting ready for, you know, some increased buying pressure. So right here, every single time we tested the bottom of this range and we tested it, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can call this spike seven multiple times. This was a, a heinous Wyckoff accumulation. Very scary for uh, people who were long because it seemed as if we were going to break this bottom support. But if you pay attention, look at the volume. The first volume bar. So the first volume bars were high, high selling pressure, high selling pressure, then lower and lower and lower. This means that they're the, the so the whole idea behind this Wyckoff accumulation is the composite man, the, the perpetrators, the, the market makers are trying to get people to sell their coins, sell their assets. And if there's less uh, selling volume, if there's less volume, that means they've exhausted all that selling pressure. That's when you get to the spring. Basically, when they've exhausted all the selling pressure, there are no more sellers uh, to relieve, uh, to be relieved of their coins. Then they go into the, the markup. That's the spring phase. And this was the bottom. And this is when we said, you know, 40K is the low. Go look uh, in on the page. You'll see the history of our, our calls here. I'm not saying that we've been 100% correct, um, but... Uh, we did say that 40k thereabouts was the low. I didn't necessarily see this Wyckoff accumulation, but I was looking at other indicators. I was looking at other price action to say 40k was the low. Okay, um, but you see, we finally broke out yesterday. We were here. We retested, right? And that's normal after a breakout. You want a retest, and some people don't seem to understand that you always have to retest breakouts. So. On, upon this retest, even, you know, very capable technical analysts were saying, oh, there we go again. You know, as soon as we go up, we go back down. No, once you break out and you broke out of this long accumulation, this descending channel, you have to retest it. And we did very well. 
Now you go up and it's basically we're going to test the tops of this range. Whether we break out of it or not is another question, but we're going to test the top of, the, of this range. So longing Bitcoin here, longing Litecoin or whatever to the top of the accumulation range is a smart trade, not financial advice. Right now, specifically, we are affecting or we're, 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 uh, uh, we're performing an ABC correction after. So the C is going to come down here somewhere. Uh, ABC correction, right? Five waves up. You get A waves, A wave, five waves, B waves, B wave, three waves, C wave, all the way down. The C wave is going to be 100 to 123.6 of the A wave. So it can end up here. It can end up here, right? So if you measure the A wave, you should see it. Sorry, the A wave, if that is 2.43%, C is coming according to our, sorry, according to our uh, Elliott wave theory, C is coming at least to 2.43, if not a little more, right? A quarter more so what would that be like three or something like that thereabouts right i presume it'll come and lay right here on this node of support okay so that's basically what's going on with bitcoin um our wyckoff accumulation range is playing out okay and as i hinted this wasn't the only wyckoff accumulation range if you zoom out you'll see it was one of many right we had Wyckoff accumulation galore. We had one here. That was it. Broke out, then broke down. Um, and we had some mini Wyckoff accumulations within the Wyckoff accumulation. So it's just been an effort for the market makers, for those who really control the market. And um, you know, this is this goes back into Wyckoff theory and. Uh, I'm not going to go into the, the minutia of a market making and stuff like that, but it is a real thing. They really need supply. They can't just buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and those things willy nilly. Like there's not enough for them to buy at the prices or at the in in the amounts that they're buying it. They need for you to sell before they are able to buy. So that's the idea be, behind Wyckoff theory. All right. Now that Bitcoin seems to be in an uptrend, I feel comfortable looking at some other projects, right? So yesterday I let out a video about how to quickly buy cryptocurrency with fiat and have it transferred, be able to transfer it with under underneath an hour, right? And uh, I proposed you do that with Litecoin for many reasons. You can watch that video. I'll link to it above. Uh, to the top right. In any case, you, I'm, I'm currently, you know, I have my Litecoin. I still haven't traded it yet. I don't know if I want to trade out of it, to be honest. Why? Let's zoom out. So on the four hourly chart, looking at Litecoin, we see that it is in a beautiful descending wedge. And what do we know about descending wedges? That the more they're tilted down, the more violently they break up. So this has just now broken resistance of the wedge. And this wedge has been forming since, uh, it's been forming for about a month, okay? So you can expect a, a pretty intense rally. Uh, out of this wedge, okay? And just for some perspective, Bitcoin has also been in its own wedge for, let's see how long. For a little less, about 23 days, okay? So Litecoin's just been really beat down, okay? And when you're trying to look at uh, assets that have the most likely upside, you want to 
you want to look at the most distressed assets. And I'm going to be honest with you. Litecoin has been, has been underperforming, underperforming like egregiously this bull run. Um, but the chart just looks really good. And just, you know, high time frame, four hourly chart, it looks very tradable. Okay. So that's my idea. You know, buying on the breakout or the retest, we're at the breakout. So anytime now or at the retest, I imagine we're going to get up here, find resistance, come back down for the retest, and then uh, go back. Um, and then just looking at Litecoin as a longer term trade. Uh, uh, this is the perp chart. Looking at, at it as a longer term trade, you can see that. It's 52 week range. It's low in its 52 week range. Basically, it's it's nowhere near its all time high. It's nowhere near, uh, you know, it, it's basically underperformed. That's basically uh, the idea of looking at that 52 week range. So that's Litecoin. I mean, everything basically is going up, um, but you do want to look at those things that are most distressed. I believe, it, I think that makes most sense. Uh, Something like IOST, I don't know. Let's see. Um, 21 days. Yeah, Litecoin looks the most distressed. And I would imagine something like Chainlink also does as well. But again, not financial advice. These coins, Litecoin, Chainlink, they've underperformed severely. And they may continue to underperform. I think like uh, Chainlink, for instance, 24 days. 24 days for Chainlink. It's been in a downtrend. So Litecoin's actually even more distressed than Chainlink, if you can believe that. But I think that Chainlink will do well in the bear market as it did uh, in the previous cycle, given how badly it's performed this this bull run. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, yeah, um, uh, we're going up. We're going up. Everything should be green up until Bitcoin hits the top of this Wyckoff accumulation range. Uh, so you see this big green candle, we should see another big green candle here. And once we get to the top of the range, we should see some consolidation. So I think longing anything from here uh, up is, is safe. And remember, where is this, the top of this range? It's at 45 K. What did we say two episodes ago that when Bitcoin hits 45 K, the party starts in earnest. That's when we get fireworks according to the charts. And if we zoom out, zoom out on the daily, we see that indeed at 45K, you have a convergence of two EMAs. You have the 21 and the 55, actually the 21 cross underneath the 55. That is a death cross or bear cross, whatever you want to call it. But it's, it's heavy resistance at 45. So all I'm saying is that it's going to be uh, some doing. We're, we're going to need some sort of uh, accumulation, some consolidation at the top of the range. But once we breach that, if we do, it's smooth sailing. It's it's clear skies pretty much from there on out. Um, I expect all-time highs imminently. Uh, so that's Bitcoin. We still have some strong bullish divergence on the daily time frame. That's never changed. Uh, it's always been... The, I, I mean, I've, I've noted that for some time. So uh, let's take a quick look at what our vital algo indicators are showing us. Just to find some confluence, we'll go back into the four hourly time frame. Okay, just taking a second to populate. And here we go. We see that the indicators are showing strong, strong, strong buying pressure at our 40,000, between 40,000 and 39,6, basically the low and 40,000. So basically this, the bottom of this range is extremely strong. Okay. Also the indicator has drawn a line of resistance right here where we're at. Okay. So this actually will be strong resistance at about 43,382. The indicator showing that there's strong resistance there on the four hourly chart. Uh, let's see what it looks like on the daily because the daily we just saw it, it was at the top. So, yeah, on the daily, that's a little higher. On the daily, it's closer to 45, 44, 8. 
Okay. So let's go back to the four hourly. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at what the indicators are telling us for Litecoin since we're in that trade. Uh, okay, give it a second to populate. So Litecoin just historical, this pulls from historical data and Litecoin's just been a terrible performer. So you see a bunch of red, meaning there's a lot of sell pressure here for Litecoin, okay? Uh, but we did get a reversal uh, signature or a reversal indicate in, indication here. So trend reversal, meaning that we're going up uh, and that we have strong support at about $142 for Litecoin. So that's pretty much it. That's Bitcoin. That's Litecoin. That's the market. Hope that was helpful. Hope that was useful. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.